Uh, you know, we are five and four right now uh, after two weekends of play. We started out in Miami at the FIU tournament and had a, a great win over then ranked number 10 Florida State and um, went on to this past weekend to play in the inaugural um, season or debut of the ACC Big Ten Challenge. Uh, it was basically the top eight RPI teams from the ACC and from the Big Ten in four sites and we were at UNC. So we played uh, Boston College twice and UNC uh, twice and won two games against Boston College and once against UNC. So we were three and one on the weekend. How's the team responding to legal distractions? Um, you know, they understand that, um, you know, this is about University of Illinois. It's about, um, you know, playing in spite of, you know, whatever comes our way. So I believe they're responding well. How would you characterize your first few, I guess, first few weeks as a coach in terms of the season, but, you know, just this first year so far, what stood out to you as your experience here at Illinois so far? Uh, so far, you know, I'm really excited about the transition in that uh, we have a group of very hardworking young ladies. Uh, I believe they all uh, would like to see the program elevate and are working with that intent. Uh, I do believe, you know, with transition, you know, there is uh, an air of expectation that as the new staff that we have that our players are still, you know, becoming more comfortable with. We saw... Um, that comfort level increase in the second weekend and hope to continue to see it uh, increase going into Texas. Uh, those are key positions uh, for sure. And right now um, we have two main kids that we've been throwing. Uh, Jade is a junior and did a, a great job for the program last season, especially in Big Ten play. She's also our ace and go to this year. She's the one that uh, got the win against UNC and also against Florida State uh, in our first contest. Brianna Wonderly is someone that we're relying on uh, more and more as well. She's starting to get her stride. Uh, she actually got the first win uh, for us of the season um, and did a great job and has a lot of untapped potential um, and, and we're looking to use her more. Shortstop, uh, Lee Farina is there for us right now. She's a sophomore and uh, she's doing a great job uh, they're um, making, you know, really great plays and, and is very comfortable right now. Could you, is, would you say there's a style at all to this team? You know, is it a, is it a power hitting team? Is it a, you know, how would you describe the style of play if you could? Well, I would say uh, for sure, uh, if you look at the past numbers, uh, this team can hit. Um, there's quite a few players that are returning that hit in the 400s you know, in, in such a high level of, uh, you know, they're seeing the top pitchers in the country um, and still able to hit at such a high, high average. Um, we're looking to maintain that, but build on it, of course, uh, with my new staff. Uh, we're looking to have more of a aggressive mentality to where we're not always relying maybe on the big hit or the long ball, but we're able to generate runs in other ways. Um, you know, one of the innings at the UNC, in the UNC game, in the win, we actually bunt it uh, several times and got a walk to score the one of the runs. So, um, you know, we're looking to have many, many ways to execute and score runs. Uh, also, I don't think you have to choose as far as if you're a great offensive team or a great defensive team. I really, truly believe that you can have success at both. I believe the great teams are successful at both. Uh, and then, you know, you add, have to add in the pitching element as well. So, um, you know, we're looking to have very solid performances every single weekend in all three areas. I know it's a great goal, but I think that is the goal if you want to be in the top. Can you talk a little bit about this weekend? The oh, absolutely. We're excited. Um, it's going to be a, a challenge um, as far as, you know, Texas is playing great softball right now um you know they are uh definitely on a tear and on a roll and they uh they're actually missing uh, their top pitcher and still doing uh great things you know to start the season 
And uh, we're also going to see Weber State, Abilene Christian, and Tulsa. Um, one of the assistant coaches at Tulsa used to be my assistant at Western Kentucky, so I know her very well. Uh, so it would be great to, to see her again. And Tulsa is very well coached. They have a, a long time staff there, and they do a great job. Uh, definitely uh, consistent contenders in postseason play uh, with that program. So we'll, we'll end with Tulsa and um, have a, a, a lot of challenges along the way throughout the weekend. I am, I am, I am.